In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create and organize topics in your Google Classroom. From your main page where you're on your stream, you're going to go over here to the Classwork tab and click on it. Up here at the top, you'll see Create. You'll click on the Create button and scroll down to the bottom to where you see Topic. There's a lot of different options for how you can organize your Google Classroom. You can, click, you can organize it by weeks, by content like subject area, you can organize it by units. For the purpose of this one, I'm going to organize it by content area. So I'm going to type in math here and click add. And then you'll see that I have a topic called math. Another great way to organize your topics is by including an emoji in the front of them to help students quickly identify which one is which. I like to use emojicopy.com. It has several different ones that you can select from. And so you can scroll through here and see all of the different options. I would be careful because some of these do not show up correctly on Google Classroom, but any of the typical ones that you would, you're used to seeing on your, um, your phone, those are usually gonna be the ones that are gonna show up just fine. So let's find one here that makes me think about math. How about a 100% sign here? So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it's right there. I just click the copy button. Now I'm going to go back over here to my Google Classroom. And I can edit it or rename it. And I'm going to paste that 100% right there in front of it. And now mine has 100% math. I can create another topic. So this time I'm gonna find my emoji first. So let's do one for, how about science? So for science, uh, in fourth grade we study about volcanoes and I feel like this one looks a little bit like volcanoes, but maybe, maybe an earth might be a better one. So here's an earth. So I clicked on that earth, I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna go over here and paste it. And now I can click science. I can also add in here social studies and I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker here to get this video going a little faster. So for social studies, let's do, um, let's do, we're just gonna do a, we're going to do a calendar. Okay. All right. And one more. Let's go ahead and do reading. I'm going to do some books here for reading. Okay. Now I have four topics here. You can add as many as you would like, but the limit is going to be 100. So I recommend not dividing your topics up by each day, because if you do it by each day, you're going to run out of days before the end of the school year. That's why I recommend doing it by content area, unit, or weeks. So sometimes I'll choose to do, um, I'll post like week of April 6th through 10th. And then my students would know that these are the things that they're going to need in Google Classroom for that week. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you back for the next one.